Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Mike Singletary of the Chicago Bears, former 12-year veteran in the NFL, all with Chicago, was a 10-time Pro Bowler and 7-time All-Pro, along with being that one-time Super Bowl champion with Chicago back in 1985, that legendary Bears defense, 85 Bears. So, going on into Mike Singletary and a little bit of discussion on his NFL career to me, he actually personifies what a leader really is in the football world because of his incredible communication, you know, and just really energy. If you watch some of the football lives that are created, I even think he might even be in the introduction where he's like, We're going to be here all day, baby! I like this kind of party! You know, Mike Singletary just brings that energy to the field, and to me, he's at the forefront of players that I would want to have on my team just leading the team because that type of communication and energy he brings to the defense. It makes sense why he was a 10-time Pro Bowler and why the defense was as unbelievable as it was when he played. And really sucks they weren't able to win more, to be honest with you. Had some talent. Some players did end up leaving. That's part of the reason why they just never lived up to probably the multiple Super Bowl championships that they could have won, along with Buddy Ryan leaving. That hurt as well, uh, their defensive coordinator. But still had an incredible career was also a two-time defensive player of the year 1985 1988 ab defensive player of the year also first team on the all 1980s decade team what was mike singletary so that's pretty incredible unfortunately one thing that would be really interesting to compare is the tackle numbers to mike singletary or from mike singletary some of the modern players and just based off of pro football reference numbers they don't have tackles listed i'm sure there there are some unofficial tackle numbers for Mike Singletary out there but I don't think they ended up officially recording tackles until after his career was over so that's a little bit unfortunate but what are you going to do that's just kind of how uh, the world of analytics I guess worked within the sports universe in particular with football so getting on into Mike Singletary and his contributions to Ultimate Team uh, he has been in previous Ultimate Teams this year he actually they have released a card for him as well Madden 17, I know for certain he was in that. I don't remember if he was in Madden 16 or not, but some of the key ratings, and we'll get into the ratings later, but uh, in general, Mike Singletary as a player was not known to be a big cover guy, was known more to be just incredible, very good player in the run defense, uh, quick side to sides, you know, great strength and lower body. You know, he's only six foot, 5'11", 11, 5 roughly, you know, 230, 235 pounds, so wasn't the biggest guy out there, and wasn't really even the fastest, but his intensity and really the pursuit to me, it looks like, like just the ability to recognize play. And I guess that's really the biggest area that people discuss when they talk about Mike Singletary and his excellence in the game of football is his football IQ, how much he studied, how much he, and you know, how much he was really able to just look at opponents offenses and know exactly what was going on. Uh, that, that's just some pretty incredible stuff in my eyes. You see that kind of from guys like Luke Keekley today, and they discuss some of those players and how they can just basically guess and call out the opponent's offensive plays. And just watch Mike Singletary mic'd up, and you'll kind of realize <laughs> the intensity this guy has and just the love for football, it seems. I mean, this guy is incredible. It makes sense why he has as many you know trophies to his name during his career and just awards to his name, whether it's team oriented or individual, it makes sense. So getting on into the equipment for Mike Singletary, like I mentioned before, not the biggest guy in the world, 5'11", 6'2", 230, 235 pounds. And you see that the equipment he used, they have the, 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 the cage that he had was, it did have a single bar down there. So this one's actually pretty close. I don't think it's identical. What's interesting is actually when I was looking at players like Reggie White and Deacon Jones that have been in the game, I think that I missed out on a face mask that looks a little bit more uh, closely to how his really did, but nonetheless, this is pretty close, and the face is the biggest issue with a lot of these players. I can I can get it pretty close sometimes, but Mike Singletary, I really felt like they didn't have a good one for him. Uh, I ended up cutting out some footage, actually, of me just kind of flipping through faces and, and, and skin tones just to kind of match what I really wanted. But it, it wasn't really working out, to be honest with you. They don't have the iconic mustache that Mike Singletary had or just his facial structure at all. So ended up going with this face. I don't even remember which one it was, to be honest with you. I have to go back and look. But I don't think it's quite as accurate as I would have preferred. But hey, what are you going to do? It's just the Madden customization options and what they have at their disposal. So 
looking at the equipment now, we have the padding team color white on both elbows, the left wrist and right, wi right wrist with the taped wrist normal. And I believe I just stick with taped hands mask max because or or combo i don't even know which one i do but he does change things up in his career and, and i've mentioned this before players don't always wear the exact same equipment so it's hard to kind of create the exact image that you want but this is kind of what pops into my mind when i've seen of mike singletary and what he wore so that's just what i went with he also had long sleeves sometimes in games when it got really cold obviously in chicago you know playing some really cold weather so conditions and, and the equipment is going to change but this is what I went with. You guys can do what you want to do. But we're going to get right on into the actual ratings from Mike Singletary. And one of the things you can obviously look to is previous Ultimate Team ratings. And I did actually compare these ratings to the Ultimate Team ratings and fluctuated the numbers just a little bit. But for the most part, they're pretty close. So you can look at Madden 18, Madden 17, Mike Singletary base, Ultimate Team cards. And essentially just compare the numbers and copy them if you really want to. It's not that big of a deal. These are, this is a completely subjective area of the creation, so that's just kind of how I feel about it. The big areas is going to be tackling, awareness, probably play recognition, and block shedding. Those are probably the big three or four areas you want to look at and, and have the highest numbers at. Everything else, just kind of compare to other players and where their ratings are at and adjust based on that. Not the fastest guy in the world, so keep that in mind, but pursuit, play recognition, block shedding, awareness, tackling all those areas probably gonna be pretty good so that's really gonna be it that's actually going to be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more madden nfl 18 content these player creation tutorials as well as some franchise series i just started was the two old franchise series which is just a computer player series i actually am going to be starting up an online cfm series with that franchise dude a guy on youtube and he does excellent roster creations on xbox one so stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'll link his channel in the description and you guys can go check it out. I will be releasing content for that hopefully relatively soon. Don't know when the new franchise will begin, but I'll get the details on that coming up. But we'll leave a link to his channel in the description if you guys want to check it out. But once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yep, thanks for watching.